rights, the movement, um, what it really means to be gay, because they have been, for the most part, uh, deprived of that information. We are not born into gay families, and gay history is not taught. So there can be profound ignorance um, in, among young gay people, college age gay people, even a little older, uh, when they first come out, because it takes some time for that knowledge and awareness of you know, what you've done, your participation in the struggle for rights, to be laterally passed to the new generation of fresh off the boat morons, right? And they do a lot of damage, gay young, young gay people, um, young queer people, as they rattle around uh, in the gay community. I think of all the young, thoughtless, gay, particularly male assholes on sites like Grindr who say things like, uh, only white dudes, no offense, just my preference, right? Or no Asians, or no fat, or no fat. People say rude shit, particularly around race, and a lot of damage is done uh, to the self-esteem and the sense of belonging, uh, particularly uh, gay men of color, when that shit is hurled in their face over and over again. By the time a young gay person has just come out, who may be from a place where there are no people of color, just like a young, you know, and ignorant of, their existence and not being able to take their feelings into account. Just like people who are from places without gay people have the same attitude towards gay people. By the time that's beaten out of them, by the time enough people have yelled at them and talked to them about how rude and racist and shitty that is, by the time they see their face on douchebags of grinder, and it finally gets through to them, and they, even if they still are only attracted to one particular race, and hopefully people's tastes broaden as they come out, um, gay or straight people's tastes hopefully broaden beyond culturally scripted norms, um, the damage is done. The guys who are exposed to their shitty, shitty comments are walking around with those psychic scars, and then a whole fresh wave of dumb fucking idiots arrive. I'm crying, they're saying the same dumb fucking things. I don't know how we correct for that uh, in gay land. And the same thing applies to people who are older. I remember when I came out when I was 16, 17 years old. And this was at a time when there wasn't, you know, 19 fucking 80, 80 when I started sneaking into gay bars. Gay bars were it. There was no gay neighbor, there were not bookstores, there weren't fucking restaurants you could go to and be gay. It was a whole different world. So the gay bars were still where everybody who was gay had to go, right? Um, and my friends who were gay teenagers, who would all now be in their early 50s, uh, or approaching 50 like me, would, you know, troll this and troll that, right? And by the time they knocked it off, um, they had been, the time we learned to knock that off, we had been replaced by a fresh crop of 18 to 21 year old gay kids saying the same shit. Uh, so it can seem like it's always a problem, but it's just always a process where this shit is beaten out of 